my love. I want to see the Alliance map. So Jailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Jailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Jailbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed. Salutations! What do you have today? Have you got a contract for me? Not only does this quest pay, but you get to have fun doing it. Probably. One man's death can be another's gain. I bet some opal on your success, so don't fail or I'll be bankrupt. No pressure. I have to go. See you soon. Go with your gods. Good day, Eivor. I must be... If you would have me, Eivor, my weapon is yours. All Father, grant my time will soon come. What have you got for Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor.
Nothing else? I'm off. Until next time, Eivor. Eivor! Hello! I will find much honor following Tell me. you. Together we'll force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall. I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? I'll see you later, friend. Is that it? I must take my leave. So long. Don't be a stranger. Let's get out of here. An epic tale. When I came to England with the Sons no of Ragnar, I believed it would be a brief raid, a swift adventure out on the open sea. I often wonder who deserves it. Strange things have we More seen. Sail. And perhaps a story from my youth. Listen well, so I may tell you a tale of the Berserkers and why we keep our potent brew a secret. Once, there was a berserker named Nori Nineclos, who became a wealthy yard, known for his fame and generous home. Every day, dozens of thanes, merchants, cousins, and other hangers-on ate at his table, drank his meal, and took his gifts. Finally, Nori Yar grew angry about his leeches. He ordered his cooks to prepare a secret brew for a magnificent feast. We can continue I'll later. Keep silver there! Monastery, over there! All right, back to the story. Finally, Nori Yar grew angry about his leeches. He ordered his cooks to prepare 
A secret brew for a magnificent feast. He then invited every freeloader in his yard unto his meal, promising his greatest gift yet to be given after the feast. As his guests ate and drank their fill, Nori and his loyal cards slipped away. One by one, the guests entered the Zerker government. When the feast erupted into slaughter, Nori and his men torched the hall before fleeing on a ship, never to be seen again. There is much Odin wisdom to take away from this tale. I will let each rower think out which lesson is best for them. I once sat down and spoke in the early days of the feud between Kyotv. Friends, they say skulls sing the best songs. But we berserkers know many tales, and much goodly lore from the old days, too. Let me tell you a tale from the bright green days of Midgard's youth, so that you may judge my warrior's gift with words. Ages ago, the two tribes of God, the Essie and the Vani, after years of strife, they sat down to talk of peace. In the hall where the gods swore their pieces, they shared berries, taking the sweet and spitting the rinds into a bowl. The bowl was set aside and left to ferment. From this bowl, in time, was born the wise man, Kvasir, who knew clever things. Kvasir traveled the nine worlds, teaching until he was slain by greedy dwarves who wished his secrets for themselves. Seeing what was done, Can't Odin use and the, the gods took here. back Kvasir's blood, from which they brewed a delicious mead for all. This is why mead, ale, yeah. and strong drink bring us both and joy, but also greed and sorrow. Partake with care. Skull! Skull! Raise the last! Stop, you idiot! rocks. It feels like he can hit it higher than the sun, right through the sun and into God's hands. Oh, you are lucky to be here, warrior. You'll see a sight rarely seen by any mortals. Have another realm. Ota hits rocks as far as the eye can see. The name's Otto Sluggison. I usually try to dodge Danes like yourself. But you seem friendly. I saw an angel swallow the last rock you hit. I swear I did, Ota. Mmm. Nothing more sweet than the crack of a good, clean rock hit. Like a warrior's axe cutting through a shield wall. I would like to see this rock hit you speak of. All right. Here's the taste of my fire. Get ready, kids. 
I'm impressed, Otis Sluggison. If you want, some try and do the same with their bow. But my best time is hard to beat. I would not want these kids to lose a hero by besting you. I like this, Viking. Kids gather around. Are you sure you want to challenge me? Fine, Oda. I will show these children what a true legend is. Oda, will you sign this stone I kept? Sure thing, kid. Well struck, Dane. Nice one. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Nice one. You're leaving? Darn. I was starting to like the twang of your boat. Good twang. Come back anytime. Oh, back again? You sure you want another go at it? Yes, Oda. Now it is time. Nice one. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Well struck, Dane. Nice one. Well struck, Dane. Well, well. Twang, twang, twang. You've got some firepower in you. The Dane's got a fine shot. Two legends here together. Tell the poets. Thank you, Oda Sluggison. This game is joyful. If you had a cup of meat and some popped oats, could be a fine manner of passing time. You're right, Eivor of Raven Clan. Hey, come on back if you ever want to dance again. Oh, back again? You sure you want another go at it? Yes, Oda. Now it is time. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Well struck, Dane. Nice one. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Well, well. Twang, twang, twang. You've got some firepower in you. The Dane's got a fine shot. Two legends here together. Tell the poets. Thank you, Oda Sluggison. This game is joyful. If you had a cup of meat and some popped oats, it could be a fine manner of passing time. You're right, Eivor of Raven Clan. Hey, come on back if you ever want to dance again. Yeah.
gentle if this bug me. me trapped in this sultry tower. Shut your mouth! A lady, a challenger approaches! Oh, bless! Step back, dame. I am sworn to this lady, and unafraid to kill the likes of you. If you're going to hold someone against their will, it would be wise to gag them. I am saying Tarquin. Lady Annis belongs to me. I told you to leave, dame! <laughs> I yield! Find another champion, lady! Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your captor fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no! It was only a game! A romp! My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger. And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please. You must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? 
What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly. Trouble coming. Oh, good. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Huh? Well now. I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. myself here.
Lena orders to switch evil. Your king Rodri is in there, begging on his chubby knees for peace. Peace? Who wants peace? Nothing for days. Nettle and turnips. It's all I could find. There you go, young man. Curse this war. Say your thanks, Berwick. Thank you, ma'am. Come on, boy. Oh, you wouldn't stop a lamb. Come on. I hurt my shoulder. Shake it off. Don't hold back. Follow through. And... To your feet. Up. Keep moving as long as your body will follow. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishai in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It's a grave thing to be elderman in a time of war, Chelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Hey, for don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Burgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? <sighs> My brother. 
We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. His bairn shall the bring on my spit as Maria. You came them on, these your loot today. Eh? Our Bishop Dayalov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dayalov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain can Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now's not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth a path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are wasting time! He's <laughs> not King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? 
A sack of silver? For me? Hmm. Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I'll consider your words. Ah, enough of this nonsense! Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, I'd quell your bitterness while we seek peace. Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Were I king, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shiravshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver, depose your brother, and you'll rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I should report what. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Ivar is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Too this easy! Is your mistake. Remember, practice for your brain. It's Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. 
Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Goriad won't need this silver now. Just let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done.
You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Rinan dise buka? I eude sancte stiliande, on ridge wheel, over ashes hile fort on wellanga forna. Show the air. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line, and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you. the master here.
And an angry drunk. Hey! <laughs> 
guards here are vigilant. When Locan outpost. If I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. You Dane! Get me out of this cursed chicken coop! Men for Deolav's feared. More valuable than cargo. Track down their supply line. We'll drag Rothery back to the peace table soon enough. I give you freedom. Now give the Shire your pike. I will.
What do you see, Sunan?
Show me. <laughs> I need your eyes, my friend. Stone quarry filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace. What see you, old friend? See me, this will get messy.
I'm Lati.
that bastard! No! For the love of Saint Cuthbert, thank free you, me! Thank you, friend. These men will fight for us. Shirabshire needs you. Now to Westbury, before Eva causes more problems. Let me out! I want to fight these bastards! So kind. Thank you. Leolav asked me to free the prisoners to strengthen our fear. Shirabsha needs you. Rush won't hide you.
Uh-oh. Got to get it out. I feel great. Curse it! Curse it! Curse it! Curse the day I was born! Something wrong. I'm blind, you idiot. I caution you not to insult me, stranger. All right, you're the victim. My life is shit. I'll never find my way to Clee Hill Spring. Why do you seek that spring? Do you know nothing? The enchanted waters heal people. You just have to show up. But I'll never make it. Unless... Unless you lead me there. Oh, dear Lord, yes. Walk loudly, friend. I'll follow wherever you go. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds and trees, flowers and clouds. War and squalor as well. Oh, thank you so much for pissing on my dreams. Do me a kindness, would you? Shove something in your gruel hole.
that the spring I hear? It's nearby! Hurry! Not the oh, spring yeah. I hear. I give up. It's, it's nearby. Hurry. We're here. Clee Hill Spring. What? You expect gratitude? I have stumbled after you over rocks and troughs. Did you slow down? No. I've done what I can. Why do you cry out so much? Oh, sorry, friend. I questioned the Lord in a moment of weakness. I crawled this far, but it seems I will never get to Clee Hill. Why go there? Long ago, St. Milberger's prayers brought forth a miraculous spring bursting forth from the top of that hill. A simple visit cures all ailments. In fact, the spring is the source of this small fall of water right here. What? Are you going to take me to Clee Hill Spring? Oh, thank you, stranger! It is a joyous day! <laughs> Who are you, stranger? Someone doing penance? A Samaritan? An angel sent from on high? I am Norse. Oh. that man what uh, who said that I'm right here before you do you mock me I'm blind ah uh, uh, sincere apologies I did not realize I meet nothing but village idiots why do you speak from the ground stand up and greet me proper alas my legs are afflicted I cannot stand what good are you a heap on the ground I see a way you can help one another. Would you please stick a cork in it for two minutes? It's obvious this piddling stream is useless. I'm stuck, blind as a dead dog, with no one to guide me on my way. I have no one to help me get around. Whoa, oh, whoa. Sometimes I almost lose faith. Wait. What? I need someone to lead, and you can see. And I need someone to carry me. Together, we are as one full man. Oh, heaven sent joy! Oh, all because of this Dane. Thank you, stranger. The Nornir work a tangled weave.
way. I am here. I am here. Look, I've made this myself. My TARDIS can yet. Oh, yes. Your mother said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival Njord's noisy belches. Well made, Eivor. But know this. Height is not the only trait of a Cairn's beauty. Shape, balance, and expression are key. Seek a variety of these. Let your only goal in this task be to surpass your own best creation.
here! It's bad, man. Friendship burns hotter than fire for five days full, and tumbles to ash on the sixth, when the fire has burned out. This area is off limits.
What? Black spirits torment this land.
Good. The land breathes once more. I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these holy reverberations remain. The work of good souls who have the earth in their heart will forever be tied to our ancestors and our Lord via this gateway. a force here, invisible.
Show me what lies ahead. Let's go hooded here. Stolen overmood, my learn the necker yet on a bay. Dim kedia tagom, ha! Pensino diavo. My eyes soon.
Smell that, Chailbert? I, uh, I think so. A faint, grassy odor? No, no. The air smells of distant thunder. Thor walks with us. There's Ivar. Chailbert, too. Ivar, Chaelbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. If we prevail here, Chaelbert becomes Elderman. First a Netherling, soon an Elderman, one day the king. Oh, you are jumping rank, boy. I hope to begin my tenure in peace, Ivar. Let us finish this here, once and for all. Even talks like an Elderman now. <laughs> oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah! I prefer sound and fury, but do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point in bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chaelbert, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Eivor! Are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! I will have blood! Eivor! Gods, Eivor. You're a rabbit hound. the one who wanders off.
Place of soldiers, less support for Rodri. in like a winter sea. Richard Mona and you will lose here. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! Eivor! Did you see Jailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailberth, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... 
I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. The water is boiling with them. Bring it to shore. Yes. Well done, Abel. An eel. Bring it to shore. Another eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Bring it to shore. Yeah. That's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch.
That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp, just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. 
Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Someone here must know. Have you seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another. I'm looking for Chailbeard. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Hey. Ivar, it's done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbeard? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Cheralbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Cheralbert? Cheral... <coughs> Bert? Did none of you see Chelbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word... ...I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. That's a low thing to do to a man. Hmm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain, south of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. about this land, my friend. You see. 
What happened here? This doesn't look good. Tears of Freya. Uh, 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 Jailbert, you live. I... I uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton Crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Shh. Save your strength. Jailbeard. We'll soon be among friends. Here. Faster this way. Just breathe, Jailbeard. We'll soon be there. By the hand of Thor! Eivor! What happened? No! No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Ivar. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is, axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened.
The Britons did this. I found this blade in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolo, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrit. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Cheobert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. You'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rodri to me. Is that the other And stay. Fool! You men, mount up and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodre's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? In Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, oh, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me. Lays his blade at my cheek and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I... That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. No 
Eivor's men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. Survey the area soon enough. Need your eyes, my friend.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is Alethe, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. They feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying.
What happened? You are crushed. Trembling. An eye for an eye, a son for a son. For if ours must suffer needlessly to the end of his life, so too will his tormentor. What? What have you done? The poor boy collapsed so suddenly, fell by the faintest taste of Mistleberry. With his father standing over him, we did. <laughs> Reckless, foolish. Who you see? Do they know it was you? like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Izu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? I got it. Be ready. of it from the I warned you stop what did you say to me no one has ever dared to come all the way up before what happens now we fight pay for your sins snuff you out Everyone! See that you don't. Thank you. 
patch of it from the scrabble grass down there to the airy heights here. At it again. I thought I shut you up last time. <sighs> you again? Quit stalling. You die now. anymore. I won't bother anybody any longer. <sighs> My blood runs hot. My hands This twitch. madman will not stop. Another grizzly kill. You little shit. How many times must I beat you to mush? Oh, just you try. Finish ya! Oh, I give up! I give up! <coughs> you are the better fighter! Oh. Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating you. Oh. It's no pleasure being defeated. The hill is yours. You're the true champion. must be barred.
Offa told everyone he was Christian. He was not. He was one of us. He only wanted the silver and the swords for his men of Mercia. And you have kept his tradition going? Without flinching. Without hesitating. Offa would be proud of me. You must have seen 100 summers, old man. It feels thus. I have come from afar to join your crew, Eivor. To me, warrior. Let gold and glory be our meat well, and mead. Min er den unanga is on fare. I her ja frioli. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Alfred, from what I hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Hooger walks with a new beast. Welcome. 
This could come in very handy. You are why. I hope to see... I must take my leave. So long. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crowfood! ...and meet the dragon that will devour you! 
I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Get the cart, boys! We will light it up in front of the gate! With me! Reloaded! Get the wagon to the gate! They sent soldiers to stop our cart! I will watch the castle walls! I'll stay in your way! Remember, brother. Arrows incoming. Come on, lads. Blow it to the gate. Yeah. Knock, knock. Go send them. We beat the, the raven. Look out. Arrows. Take cover. Closer to the bloody gate. Feel stronger already. That was clever.
down. Ivar the Boneless. <laughs> you make a pitiful dragon. <laughs> I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nornia spin his fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come! 
Not just now. I'll return when I'm ready. So be it. We will be waiting. Right, Rodri, old friend? Must be blocked from the other side.
There you are. Let us take King Rodri to a spot he will find breathtaking. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. 
There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. <laughs> How are you doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbart, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. Over here! Pull him up there, to the top, and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> that is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. <laughs> The fog between good and evil <clears throat> grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! 
and we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Ivar. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then... nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was... Like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Thor lends me strength. If I kill you, I stop. No more. There is no greater prize after you. Watch out! So close to death, so cold in my heart. Where are the winged maidens? Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Gold again! Watch out! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Eivor! Give me
Leave it here! To Helheim with you. Eivor! Carry the body to Quartford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him... ...his brother is dead. to get on the other side.
Must be blocked from the other side. About time! I've been so bored in here! Who is this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew! Thanks for helping me get out of here. You naughty boy! Just look at this mess! The house has been abetted! Who is this? I fooled her! I told her you were a witch and you were going to eat me for supper! Well, that's a fine how-do-you-do! It 
will take me weeks to put this place in order. <laughs> we had a grand time. I am no witch. I am the kindest, sweetest mum to ever lock a lad in a house. How else teach you not to pick your nose? Thanks, stranger. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Abba. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died defending a grievous lie. I cannot say that he's dying well. Ivar, I spent my whole life repairing the damage he inflicted. Still, he was my brother. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery. And that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead.
brother. May your time in Valhalla be bright and glorious. Raw bringer of battle song. The boneless one sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar Khan. Shropshire, an ally. I should confer with Ranving. Praised man about my, my first day defending the walls of Grantebridge, my duke. When I was eleven winters old. There is no more epic a tale than the story of how I found my In my youth I remember hearing the story of Khan. Here's here. young woman whose father forbade her from swordplay and raids. Soma of Grantebridge. For a time, all the eldermen of England wanted her dead. A bounty on her head the size of Yggdrasil. So she met with the leader of the South Gerbils and told their king, Rof, Say that you killed Raise me, the man. and claim it to all of the lads. Rof answered, No one will believe it. The Soma shook her head. Invite them, here. I once saw a Dane in Gautland boil bear meat for his supper. In the early days of the feud between Kiotved. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunkards of. During my 19th winter, King. Oh, you have likely never heard the story of the time Odin and Freya appeared before me on a dark winter's night. They call. They called you their orphan child, yes, dog. We've heard the tale as often as the sun has risen and set. <laughs> My favorite part of any battle is the moment before it. Everyone has their ritual in that flutter of anticipation. Our hearts race. Soma would visit the children of the camp, recount an old myth like a wise scald. She filled those little ones with courage. She knew they desired a chance to fight in great battles one day. And if we did not win, they would not have their chance. Once, I followed her on this ritual and watched her speak. To keep Shale things down. Down, she often mixed up the old myths. Then More Freya Sarah. rode her cats through Elfheim, tearing up the dark elves in search of the need of poetry. Those little eyes, the children's faces, a flame, enamored. I saw myself as one of them. Is it felt is so enough. much better. Soma has that way with people. She has that way with me. No, I only tell a story or two, and the war is always won. Sailor! We need an epic tale. We all remember when Eivor gave orders. We can continue later. Look! A monastery! All right. Back to the story. We all remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our chance at victory was slim. It was a fool... Hold on, good skull. Where you're at the good part, yes. It 
It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered, and Eivor here carried off to be sold into slavery. A fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering in an empty house. He did not see me, and I came within two arm's lengths of him. I could have slain him! A fast stroke hey, of my axe, you. ending our troubles. But I held back. Why? Because I remembered my oath to Eivor. Yes. Years ago, Eivor had staked a claim on Kjotve's life. So I left the Bakrout alone. Yes. A pity, Dag. There is no one living who can verify this incredible tale. Let's put in here! Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall. I would like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? I have to go. See you soon. Day, my love. We are allied with Shrubshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chailbird was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chailbird will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was.
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Hey there, how are you?